Uh, here, if I look at the area of a trapezoid, the area of the trapezoid is this uh, kind of big, uh, uh, ugly-looking equation of one-half uh, base one plus base two times the height. Um, really, it's going back to that, that mid-segment idea, that idea that uh, you remember there was a segment that I could draw in here that's like the average of the bases. Well, that's this guy right here. So it's the average of the bases times the height. Okay, it's essentially saying, hey, you know what? If this thing was like a, a rectangle with the, the larger base versus if it was a rectangle with the smaller base, it's like finding those two areas, but then taking the average of those two areas to get this guy, to get the, aver to, to get the uh, area of the uh, uh, trapezoid, okay? And so that's really what it comes down to. It's the average of the bases times the height, okay? And so you can you can do the the actual like uh, formula that's written here. I would just kind of think of it as average of the bases times the height. And so when I look at this guy, if you just plug it right into the formula, area equals one half. Remember the bases for a trapezoid are the parallel sides. So the parallel sides have to be the bases. That's the three point five uh, plus the four point six, and then times the height is the two. And when you do this, you have to follow order of operations. So you start inside the parentheses. So inside the parentheses, 3.5 uh, plus the 4.6. It's an 8.1. And now I can multiply these three things together. And I can go right to my calculator on that. 0.5 or 1 half times the one, uh, 8.1 times the 2. Okay. And when I do that, I get an 8.1, of course. And again, that's square centimeters, all right? Once again, the other way to think of this is I just say, hey, it's the average of the bases times the height. So I find the average, okay? And, you know, there's no need to memorize a formula. You can always look the formula up if you forget it. But if I want the average of these uh, bases, I just add them together and divide by 2. So it's the, the, uh, the 3.5 times the 4.8, or times the 4.6, which is 8.1. And then that divided by 2 gives me a... Uh, uh, 4.05. Ah, so then I say, okay, the area is just going to be the average of the bases, which is ju I just found, times the height. And once again, when I do that, it gives me the same thing. Okay, So either plug it into the formula and follow order of operations, or find the average of the bases, multiply by the height. Looking at something like this guy, same kind of thing. Uh, Nevada has the approximate shape of a, of a trapezoid here when you look at it. And once again, it's important, you've got to identify the, the sides that are parallel. The parallel sides are these guys right here, okay? So that means these are going to be my bases, okay? Those have to be the bases because those are the parallel sides. So when I plug this into the formula, do area equals one-half, the base is added, well, it's got to be the 205 and the 511. And then once again, times the height, the height this time, well, this is the guy that's being measured at the perpendicular angle, so that's the 309. Okay? And again, if you want to, you can do the 205 and the 511, find the average, and then just multiply that average by the 309. We'll get the same thing. Okay, so here, following order of operations, uh, inside these parentheses, the 205 plus the 511, uh, that's a 716. And now, once again, on my calculator, it's the 1 half uh, times the 716 times the 309. And so I get an approximate area of 110,622, and that's square miles this time. Okay?